Welcome back. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to connect to a Wi-Fi network on a Mac or MacBook. Thankfully, this is nice and easy to do, and therefore it shouldn't take us too long. If you run into any problems when trying to connect, then I will have a video coming out soon that will look at potential fixes for Wi-Fi not working on Macs or MacBooks. Click the card on screen now to watch that video when it's up. Make sure the router you want to connect to is turned on and working, and remember to leave a like and feel free to subscribe if the video helps. Let's get into the method. On your Mac or MacBook, head to either the Wi-Fi or Options logo in the top right. If you don't see the Wi-Fi logo, then click on the Options logo. In here, make sure that Wi-Fi is turned on by clicking on the Wi-Fi icon. It will turn blue once it's turned on. Now click on where it says Wi-Fi, and then it should show more information. There might be a preferred network to connect to, or it will show a list of routers to connect to. Click on other networks to make sure you see the full list. Once you have found the network to connect to, click on it once, and then you may need to enter the password. This password will likely be on the router itself. If you don't see your router on the list, make sure it is turned on and your device is within range of it. After entering the password, it should now connect to it automatically, and you are good to go. There are more settings to change if you want to. To view these, go to System Preferences. You can get there by clicking on the Apple logo in the top left, and then by choosing System Preferences from the list. In System Preferences, click on Network. Now choose Wi-Fi from the list, and you should now see more settings to change. For example, you can set it to connect to this network automatically. Customize these settings to your preference. And so that is how to connect to a Wi-Fi network on a Mac or MacBook. Help support the channel by visiting the store. The link is in the description and at the end of the video. If you have any questions, then let me know in the comments below. And if you did find today's video helpful, remember to leave a like and feel free to subscribe for more tips in the future. Be sure to stick around to see some of my other videos that you might be interested in. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you in another video.